USGI has customized testing options for personalized results. Teachers can evaluate skills through one-on-one -on -one assessment or direct students to self-assess. Let's find out how. In your account, when it's time to test a student, simply choose a student from the class list and search for the tests over here in each subject tab. I have first grade chosen here. Now, as I'm scrolling through, I can see the test button here indicating a yes, no type test. I also see one called self-assess right here with this icon. Now, the one-on-one -on -one version is teacher-led and it limits distractions. You can observe the student responding in real time and gain valuable insights into student processing. Let's see how that looks here. As the student answers, you will click the yes or no buttons. You can take notes here. You can skip questions and stop at any time. This same test has a student self-assess version. Self-assessment fosters independence, facilitates the use of technology in the classroom, and determines the skill independent level. If your students are ready, assign the self-assess test. Here you can see that a practice test is always given if it's your student's first time taking a self-assess test. When they start the session on their own device, you will see that they can listen to the directions and listen as appropriate to the selections here. They make a selection and continue on through the test. Students can take up to three tests independently at a time, and when they are finished, the data will appear on your pie chart. ESJ also has rubric tests that you can administer the student when you observe them. You simply click in the boxes as you observe that skill and submit. If you have any questions about how to administer the self-assess, one-on-one, or rubric tests, please visit our support site.